Lee Goldman, too much of a good thing, how four key survival traits are now killing us. Delve into the fascinating world of, too much of a good thing, exploring how evolutionarily advantageous traits like hunger, thirst, fear, and blood clotting are now posing challenges in our modern lives. This book summary will illuminate how our once helpful survival traits have become maladaptive in the rapidly changing environment we've constructed. Get ready to understand why we face difficulties such as obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, and mental health issues, as well as what can be done to combat these problems. Embrace this insightful journey into human evolution, the challenges of our present times, and the potential solutions. Survival of the Fittest, Adapting to a Modern Environment Over 200,000 years of natural selection has allowed humans to adapt to their environment. However, the rapid changes caused by modernization have made it difficult for humans to maintain their health. Scientists proposed three possibilities for the survival of the human race in an environment that is evolving faster than human biology. The first scenario is that humans will continue to develop diseases that affect their ability to reproduce, leading to the extinction of the species. The second scenario is that people will embrace healthy habits to maintain their health despite the environment, however, this is often effective for only a few dedicated individuals. The third option is the use of science to develop medications, surgeries, and genetic modifications to combat environmental changes. While human genes have evolved to cope with inconsistent food availability and threats from animals, modern times have introduced a new host of problems, such as the almost unlimited availability of high-caloric foods. Meanwhile, clotting blood, once a survival advantage, has become a disadvantage due to medical advancements. The challenge for humans is to harness their ingenuity to adapt and thrive in a world they are rapidly changing. Maladaptive Adaptations Natural selection has given humans protective adaptations that are now maladaptive in the face of modern lifestyle. With the recent rapid changes in living conditions, our genes are ill-suited for the environment. A prime example is the Pima Indians who experienced a meteoric rise in obesity and diabetes due to a sedentary lifestyle and high-caloric foods. While growing reliance on medication and surgery shouldn't be dismissed as moral weakness, it's important to recognize them as necessary in our modern world. Caloric Needs and the Modern Human Appetite The ubiquity and variety of modern food leads to overeating and obesity, a problem that stems from our ancestral survival mechanisms. Humans developed mechanisms to encourage a large appetite in times of plenty and discourage weight loss when calories are scarce. When food was abundant, our ancestors ate plenty to store calories for the inevitable times when food was scarce. Today, we crave variety to ensure we satisfy our nutritional needs, but this desire to overeat persists even when we are full. As a result, obese people in the U.S. cost an average of $1,400 more, $150 million total, per year in healthcare costs. To combat obesity and diabetes, Research supports various tips for weight loss including using smaller bowls and serving utensils, pairing a new healthy habit with something you enjoy, and writing a specific plan for your exercise routine. The Endurance Advantage Humans have an advantage over most animals in endurance due to their thermoregulating ability. This allowed early humans to hunt for meat tirelessly, and their ability to conserve and regulate salt and water helped them to stave off dehydration. However, modern food industries have capitalized on our natural cravings for salt, sugar, and fat, causing a diet high in sodium that results in high blood pressure. A low-salt diet for a sustained period can adjust these cravings and lead to a healthier lifestyle. The Evolution of Violence The book explains how the rate of violent deaths increased from 15% to 25% after the advent of agriculture, resulting in more fight-related disputes among people. Fear, anxiety, and anger helped ancestors stay safe from violent deaths. However, these mechanisms are ill-suited to today's world. As a result, they fuel modern epidemics of anxiety, depression, and PTSD. 
chronic stress damages cells and shortens DNA telomeres, a sign of aging. Sadness serves as a wake-up call to change course or set more achievable goals. The book highlights the need to adapt one's ancestral protective mechanisms to modern times. Overcoming Mental Struggles Early humans developed phobias and aggression to protect themselves from danger, but modern society no longer requires it. PTSD and depression are outcomes of these adaptive traits. Suicide rates have surged as a result of suppressed aggression and competition. To improve mental health, exercise regularly, pursue what you excel in, surround yourself with a supportive social network, and try cognitive behavioral therapy for stress and anxiety. Avoid guilt and focus instead on success. Blood, clots, and survival. Blood flowing through the human body completes a circuit around once a minute, and cells lining the inside of blood vessels create substances that keep it flowing. If this inner layer suffers damage, platelets and blood proteins gather to create a mesh that clogs tears in the vessel, a life-saving process for early humans that sustained maternal lives during childbirth. However, now clotting is the leading cause of maternal death, and four times more Americans die of clots than from bleeding. Frequent aerobic exercise and blood thinning medications can help reduce blood clots. For those seeking to make healthier choices, immersing themselves in an environment conducive to good decisions is important. Public policy measures, such as increased taxes, strategic price hikes, or outright bans on detrimental products, can also be effective. When it comes to changing behavior, past behavior is four times more likely to predict future behavior than any new goals. Willpower is no match for slow-to-adapt genes, a rapidly changing environment, and natural selection that's too slow to respond. But with their formidable brainpower, it's likely that humans will survive their overly protective traits. As we conclude our foray into a too much of a good thing, we see that the survival traits which once protected and benefited us, now pose a series of challenges in our modern environment. Unrestrained access to large food quantities, the unhealthiness of processed and calorie-dense options, and excessive stress have detrimental effects on our well-being. To cope with these challenges, we must rely on our intelligence and ability to adapt, seeking strategies such as healthy lifestyle changes, cognitive behavioral therapy, and supportive public policies. The future is uncertain, but our capacity to harness our brain power may hold the key to overcoming these complications and ensuring our continued survival.